Yo, yo, one, two, one, two. You already know what it is. It's the one and only hip hop gamer, Hot 97, Logitech G, NBA 2K League, baby, is going down. Now, look, I told y'all, I told y'all, NVIDIA is crazy. They just like changed the entire industry with one update. Like, literally, like, revolutionized the industry with one update update and that update is dlss 2.0 there's a lot to talk about there's a lot to unpack here we're gonna talk about everything you know what i'm saying so get ready and get hyped you already know how it goes down let me know if everything looks good and sounds good so we can keep things rolling all right now first um i got my man brian yo brian please please introduce yourself and let everybody know you know who you are what's going on hey i'm brian burke i'm a pr guy in video and i've been here for about 20 years uh what it's been what, 20 years in october october will be 20 years and i was with uh 3d fx before that so i've been doing G pr for gpus for close to 25 years almost 30 years now it's been a long time it's been a fun ride I've seen a lot of good stuff yo that's crazy oh yo sh I, real, real quick before i go to you raju so shout out to corey shout out to artificially intelligent uh in the um chat right now he said he uses nvidia he he uses it right now so this is crazy this is crazy yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh man yo this is hype yo we hype right now shout out to jeremy fox t rev so it's crazy so now look um also we have my man raju raju please let him know who you are what you do and why you're amazing bro so yeah, so my name is Rogel, and um, I work in GeForce Technical Marketing and NVIDIA. I haven't been here as long as Burke has, but I've been here for six years, and you Ooh. know it, it's been a great it's been a great experience. And I you know I keep I, I love learning more and more, and and I have been learning more and more. So it's it's been great here. So. I I don't don't yeah, this yeah. is crazy. Yo, shout out to Danny Martin. Danny Martin is in the building. He represents Geek Leets. So this is crazy right now. All oh my yo, this, yo everybody here right now. What you was about to say, Brian? Uh, part of Raj's job is to play all the new games that are coming out, even sometimes before they come out. So he's got. Yeah, pretty, I can't complain he's about got that. Pretty, he's got a pretty good game. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. So like, yeah, everybody's talking about the RTX Titan t Tensor Cores right now. So look. First question, Rajul, this is how we setting it off. DLSS 2.0. Like for those that don't know what it is, like break it, break down what it actually is, you know, for them, and break down what it does. You know, so, uh, for them. So yeah, so basically DLSS, it's powered by R RTX tensor cores, you know, and DLSS, um, it's a improved, new and improved uh, deep learning neural network that uh, boosts our frame rates, and at the same time, it generates beautiful images, sharp images for your games, you know. So it gives you the performance headroom to maximize your frame rates, and also at the same time, you can crank up your settings and your resolution and uh, have high frame rates and have high uh, visual quality. Yo, so now... I'm gonna tell you. I, I look. I gotta let everybody know how this all came about. So DLSS 1.0 came out, and um, we uh, used that, experienced that. And although I saw a boost in performance from a frame rate standpoint, we didn't see a boost in performance from the graphical quality. You know what I'm saying? It, blurry, <clears> yeah. it was blurry, yeah. like smudged. And I was like, oh man, it played better, but it didn't look better. So it was like, yo, back to native, right? Mm -hmm. So then mm -hmm. when DLSS 2.0 came out, a lot of people were skeptical. Was, you know what I mean? But I'm going to tell you right now, word to everything, I put on control, right? And when I saw it, I had to make sure I wasn't lying to myself, all right? I had to make sure this was accurate. So when control came on, I was like, hold up, like, this look crazy. Like, it's performing great. It's crazy. I've never seen it like this before. And then I went to the settings, and I was like, yo, I'm in 1440p right now, rendering at 1440p. But it looked like 4K. So I did a test. Everybody that's listening right now, this is the one of the most important things I'm about to tell you. So I did the test with um, native 4K. So I turned DLSS off just to see what it looked like in native 4K again. And then when I went back to 1440p, because that's the quality uh, setting, it looked better than the native image. It had this extra pop or something like this extra extra resolution boost so mm -hmm. my question to you regarding dlss now that that's like reality mm -hmm. what does this mean for the actual market you know what i mean for uh graphics mm -hmm. cards now because if you get a graphics card that can handle 1440p you can mm -hmm. actually produce a higher level of clarity and, and resolution without taking the performance mm -hmm. hit how does this change 
the actual uh, uh, industry for PC gaming overall? I'll take that one. So okay. when we came out at Gamescom 2018, we brought out the RTX and we kind of envisioned it as this one-two punch. Okay. Uh, the first punch is ray tracing. Ray tracing, you know, we looked at it and we said, look, if we want to get to the next step in graphics of computer games, you know, we've been using shaders for 10, 15 years. We invented shaders. We think shaders are great. We've done some incredible things with them, but at some point that technology gets tapped out. Right. So if you want to take it to the next level, you got to find a way to do it. And we knew that new way was ray tracing because we go to the movies and we can see, you know, what it's doing in movies. Yeah. And anybody ask that says, hey, what's the best way to do lighting in, 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 in 3D rendering? They're going to tell you ray tracing. Boom. The issue was never was it the right technique? The issue was that we couldn't get to go fast enough in real time. Movies can go and they can render a frame. They can take all day to render one frame and then stitch the frames together and they have a movie. We have to do that same amount of work in, six, in one sixtieth of a second, you know, depending on what, what, what you know, FPS you're running at. Right. So we have creative ways to tackle that problem. Wow. So we found some new ways to do ray tracing. So we knew that that was a way to go. We did a lot, we had to do a lot of homework to get it. It's been a long journey. You know, because you got to make it an industry standard, because it can't be just NVIDIA, so you have to make it an industry standard. You've got to uh, work with the game engine guys, make it easy for the game developers to add it into gotcha. the into games. Um, you got to have an install base that makes it attractive. So we've sold, you know, up uh, over 10 million right now, over 10 million GPUs that are, are, that are ray tracing enabled. So the ray tracing was part of it. The issue with ray tracing was it was really hard. It was a, it was a big performance tax. And when we first brought out ray tracing, people saw it. Yeah. And a lot of people liked it, but you know what? Let's face it. Anytime, anything you do to make your game look better graphically comes at a performance cost. If you want to increase your image quality by raising resolution, your FPS goes down. If you want to increase your image quality, mm. your frame rate goes down. So that's just math. I mean, that's just math. We can't think of math, but that's, that's how it goes. Wow. So the other part of that equation was DLSS because we have AI stuff that we do with cars and you know science and all kinds of cool stuff and we were like how can we apply this to games? So what we decided was is if we could figure out a way to use AI to kind of predict what a frame is supposed to look like and and save some of that rendering time, we could get some of that frame rate back. So the concept behind DLSS was turn on rate down, turn on DLSS, frame rate goes back up, and hopefully you'll hit somewhere playable. Gotcha, yo. That's, that was the idea behind it. But it's hard. It's really oh, hard to do. Man. I mean, we're talking about, if I would have came to you five years ago and said, hey, you're going to play a game, it's going to be called Control. It has real-time ray tracing in it. It's going to be ray traced gold illumination, shadows, and reflections. You would have looked at me like I was crazy. Yeah. It's, it was always, <laughs> ray tracing was always the way to do it, but we can't never, we could never get there. So we had to figure out a way to do it. Because we like tackling hard problems in the game. You know, that's, that's not, that's, that's our game. The higher the, yeah. the graphics quality bar is, the better we like it, because that's where we play. We play really good in places that we can add value, and we're going to draw things the same way we've drawn them for 15 years and do it 10, 20% faster. That's not a lot of value add there. Mm. A lot of value add, and I'm going to take AI, I'm going to apply it to games, and I'm going to take ray tracing and do it in real time, and I'm going to take... I'm gonna, because we want our games to look like movies. I mean, yeah, absolutely, want. absolutely. And now, now, so now since you uh, said that, my next question would be, 